and also threatened by the fact that the man has a history of violent confrontation. Talk about defamation, Eric. You're doing what you accuse Diego Ammon and People's Rights Network of doing. You say that we knowingly lied about St. Luke's to make money, including the own, Cyrus's grandfather. Yeah, I mean, according to you, it's like he's on the verge of organ failure and you know, he was with his grandfather the night that um, he was taken by the Meridian police. Um, and so you're saying that, like, what, he's he'll put his son, his own grandson's life at risk to make money? You're saying, you know, so watch this video. Dude, they're arresting Marissa. The taking... Officer. Let my son-in-law go with the baby. You can't take our baby you away. Can your protest from back here. Thank you. Uh, Am I allowed? Can I? That's my son. I want to go with my son. Go up there with him. Yeah, I'm, I want to go with my son. I need you guys to step. Are up. you gonna? Are you going to keep him away from his son? Are you going to keep him? You're taking his son away. You guys step back. You are kidnapping my grandson. Step back. Step back. Step back. You guys are kidnapping my grandson. You're saying like while he's seeing his daughter getting arrested and they're not letting the father go in the ambulance with the son. And he's saying, you're kidnapping my grandson. You think that was, that was motivated by money? He's just got dollar signs, cha-ching, cha-ching. Oh boy, I'm gonna make a lot of money here. He has no concern for his own grandson. <laughs> like, I'm not buying it. So you're the one knowingly lying about Ammon. Because you can't show one instance where Ammon has violently confronted somebody. Go ahead and show us. And you're the one making money. You're probably, I'm sure you're making a ton of money from St. Luke's. How much money have you made? Tell us uh, from these cases. And how much has the Holland and Hart team made from these cases? You're getting paid. You're the one getting paid to lie. You're with your buddies on KTVB trying to get a lie out to the people before the trial. These potential jurors before the trial is what you're doing here. Talk about violent confrontations, Eric. I'll show you violent confrontations. Wait, why am I being okay. arrested? Okay, right now you're being Officer? detained. Detained okay, for what? What crime did I commit? No, Felony no. injury to child. Get out of the car. Hey, you can't abuse me. I'm getting out. Get your ass out of I'm the getting car. out and let me get out. Okay. Hang on, there you go. I will step out. Get out of the car. What did St. Luke's tell the CPS and Meridian Police to get them to surround the family at the gas station in Garden City with a huge show of force and confront them with violence? That he lost an ounce of weight in between weigh-ins? Like, did, was there anything else that they even had to, that would be evidence to convince the police that it, that it could meet the elements of felony injury to a child? For what reason? For a felony injury to a child. Okay? For what yes. reason are you but for what? Yes. Get it? Uh, and now, why were all the charges dropped then? Uh, all the criminal charges were dropped and the CPS case was dismissed. So whatever St. Luke's had initially told them turned out not to be correct. Answer that, Eric.